Hi there, my name is Cindy James. Welcome to my Encaustic Art Studio. It's a lovely day in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. There's still snow on the ground. I can see it from my studio window, mostly across the street. And the wind is howling and it's just above freezing. Uh, it's a beautiful April day. What can I say? Anyway, I'm inside painting, um, actually cleaning. I tidied up my studio. And today I would like to show you how to care for an encaustic painting. So this one's been in my studio for a couple of years and it's a little bit dusty and it needs a buff. So I think it'll be a good one to demonstrate how to take care of this. Uh, most of you probably won't be storing your paintings that you buy or, or make in such a dusty area, but they actually hold up really well. And uh, I'll show you how to, how to clean it. So normally what I'll do is uh, you can get a microfiber cloth. An old t-shirt will work as long as it's not textured like this one has little beads sewn into it something like this might work but it is ribbed so you know the less texture the better just an old cotton t-shirt or uh, um, some people use nylons that kind of thing uh, i find these microfiber cloths work pretty good so one thing i noticed is that sometimes dust or pollen will will stick to the surface of an encaustic painting but if it's, if it's stored upright as if on a shelf or hanging on a wall, that's not usually an issue. But if you do have a painting that's stored flat, you're best to cover it with something. Even in my studio when I'm working on them, I'll just put a piece of, this is glassine, but anything really over top because the dust will settle on the painting. Um, I had one painting that was sitting in the front entryway of my house and we had a screen door and it, it sat there all summer the sun would beat in that window the dust would blow in through the screen people were in and out and at the end of the summer I was, there was actually dust stuck in this painting so make sure you hang them in an area where that's not going to happen um, not in direct sunlight and it's a good thing that I did that as an experiment I just kept this painting I still love it it's got a little bit of dust in there, but it hasn't hasn't ruined my enjoyment of it. So, but of course, I don't want you to have to experience that. So this one here, I don't know if you can tell. As the encaustic wax cures, it it gets a little bit hazy, and that's normal. And over time, that will uh, reduce the amount of times it happens. And some people it doesn't bother, but you can get rid of this and I'll show you this buffing process is um, what you do. I'm not sure if you can see the haziness of it over here, but hopefully there'll be a difference after. Okay, so back to the microfiber cloth. What I usually do is I'll, I'll actually, and make sure it's clean. <laughs> you wanna use a clean cloth. I just wet the corner of this. I don't really need a lot of water. I'll just demonstrate over here with this damp cloth. I'm just going to wet the face of it. Now, one thing I do have to warn you about is if you have a painting and parts of the painting were not sealed and they could be, they could have water soluble media on there i mean if there's a risk it could come off so you so you may want to forego the water i, I kind of like having a little bit of water on there for buffing because sometimes when you when you're buffing if you press too hard you can leave tiny little scratches from the cloth and i find the water helps to prevent that from happening and you also and you also want to buff it when it's cold. So that's not an issue for me in my studio, but if you live somewhere where it's warmer, um, it's best to, to buff the painting maybe, you know, in the morning before it gets too hot. And you don't want to be too aggressive with it. 
Now, I don't know if you can tell the difference. This, this painting has cured quite a bit, so it's not super hazy or anything, but hopefully you can see it is shinier. And there's no scratches in it. So like I say, do it when it's cold, um, not in the heat of a warm day. Pick a, a cool day to do it. Um, and be gentle. Like if your painting's cold, you can be a little bit more firm with it, but uh, you don't want to be so firm that you're leaving marks in the wax. In my experience, if that happens, the only way to really get those out is to give it a very light fuse again, and most people aren't going to be able to do that. So, but it does, it does look shinier. I have another one here. Okay, so this one is very textured. Textured paintings, you have to be careful not to um, break anything off. This one's pretty solid, but I like a lot of texture, so I have to be careful with my textured paintings when I buff them. So I'm going to just use the, the, the wet part of this cloth again, just kind of wash off any dust that may be on here. And then I'll just give it a buff. I don't know if you can tell, but it actually buffed up quite nice. Let's see if I can catch some. There we go. Nice and shiny now. So the main takeaways are to buff when it's cool. If you're not sure if there's any water soluble media that might not be sealed, just use a dry cloth, but otherwise a damp cloth, a little bit of water is fine. It won't hurt wax. And um, don't be too aggressive with your buffing because if, uh, if you are pressing too hard, it, it can leave very fine um, scratches in the wax that can really only be removed by fusing with a, you know, a heat gun or a torch, which you don't want to do, especially once the painting's cured. But if you do get some very fine scratches in there, if they bother you, uh, they can be, most likely they can be fused out. You just have to find an encaustic artist near you who could do that for you. And I'm sure most people wouldn't, wouldn't really have too much of an issue. Uh, so that's that. That's how you care for them. Don't hang in direct sunlight. Don't hang in your dusty front entryway with a screen door and the sun beating on it. Bad idea. Otherwise, uh, it should last you for many, many years. Thanks for watching. See ya.